so someone asked a while ago to do like a what's in my bag or something like that and i just got home from from hanging out with my friend and going to the bookstore so i have some stuff in my bag which is positive because i feel like i try to cut down as often as possible um so it's a good thing that i actually have like stuff today and i thought i'd do a little we can talk and i can show you what's in my bag it's gonna be fun just calm i don't know um okay i think we should go in order of importance and what do i value the most in my bag mm. I think I value my sketchbook the most. So recently I've changed my sketchbook and my like sketching utensil that I carry. I have this, it looks like a little tiny backpack, which I find precious. And my dad gave it to me. And inside of it, I have all my pencils and stuff, which I will go through. And most importantly, my sketchbook. I got it from Muji. It was called like a like mini passport sketchbook or something. Cause it looks like a tiny passport. It's very convenient. It actually fits in my pocket, which is really, really nice. And I have had an awesome time using it. Um, these are some pages. All right, just imagine you, you want to see some. Um, oh, this was a fun page. Right there. Yeah, so I've been like on a weird kick with like trees and multiverses and whatever the fuck, but I really love it because I can actually literally carry it around wherever I go, wherever I go. I've been slurring my speech like crazy recently, but that's a different point. But I like using it because I have a bigger sketchbook that I usually use that I've been using for like years, like that kind, like the moleskin one. But I feel like this one is like... I don't know, I don't like feeling like I'm holding a sketchbook for some reason. I enjoy like being able to walk around my life and just like, it's like just with me. It's just like an extension in a way. The rest of what's in here is just like pencils and stuff. And I guess we can talk about what they are. Cause I have a bunch. Um, okay, the first thing is pens. I have a few pens and they all have a different purpose. So this pen is like ballpoint pen, stole it from I think my math classroom. I don't think I've ever bought a ballpoint pen or like these, like the big ones, bike, big. It's a very good pen, doesn't bleed. So I use it for math and I use it for drawing my sketchbook sometimes because the pages are very thin. That is kind of a downside, I guess, but I don't really paint in any way. This is a very like inky, inky pen. It's from by, by, it's from Uniball. Um, inky 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 pen but it is nice if you're trying to like cover a big area or like you enjoy that so i keep it um micron my ideal size i think is like the 02.2 i don't know but i use those i mean i don't really use those but i have them anyway just in case like i don't usually do like line art or anything but i keep it i guess for like comfort <laughs> um i have a blue pen same as like this one just blue I have an eyeliner pen that I don't use, but I could. My friend just texted me a picture. I guess I'll look at that later. I love when my friends texting pictures. It makes me very happy. Um, three colored pencils, but these are awesome colored pencils because they like are double sided. Green, yellow, blue, pink. Um, and then I have a red because I feel like red is a good color. I think red and blue are just the colors to have. And I don't have a red pen. I don't know why. I have one marker, it's like a brush marker, it's like a back, that's what it looks like. I really like these for like quick gestures, kind of, if that makes sense. And I have a really fucked up pencil. Loud footsteps. Really fucked up pencil, it's my favorite pencil, but I've gotten blue ink all over it and I actually broke it. So now there's like, um, what's it called, electrical tape holding it together but it's my favorite pencil so i use it all the time and then in the front of my tiny pencil case thingy i have lip balm or chapstick or whatever you want to call it i use burt's bees red dahlia 
It makes me feel fancy. It makes me feel very girl. Okay. Next thing that I always carry, where is it? Is my wallet because I think someone's vacuuming. Sorry. Is my wallet because money's important in this world. And I don't know, I like it. I have a bunch of IDs and stuff that I don't use. And I was talking to my friend yesterday and it was really cute. She was like, um, she has like a million IDs and stuff, but like, or just like hotel cards from like five years ago. And she was talking to me about how like at this point she just keeps it because it's like it's her bit. You know what I mean? She's like committed to the bit of like she'll put down a grand hotel key from like seven years ago and be like, I got it, guys, like after dinner. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna start doing that. I'll commit to the bit too. Um I usually carry like a charger in my bag for my phone because big iPhone has controlled all of our lives. And if I don't have iPhone, I will literally die in the road. Unfortunately. Next thing, headphones. I I don't know what like went on a few weeks ago. I mean, I do. I was like laying in bed, like catatonic, freaking out about how iPhone controls our lives. And I couldn't touch headphones for a while because I used to have um, like the Bluetooth ones. But for some reason, like my mind believes that like if it's wired, like there isn't like technology like going through my brain and like killing me slowly. So I have these my dad gave me. They're probably very old. Bose Quiet Comfort 15. They actually work awesome and I really love them. And they're plug in ones. So I carry them everywhere and they are the best. Next thing that I always carry, I think that's kind of it. What else? Okay, because I'm going to go to books next then. I have two books. I don't always carry these, but I just went to a bookstore with my friend and her mommy. And I bought two books and I'm really excited to read them. I like when I'm actually excited because sometimes I'm like, I just have to read it. And I was looking at Infinite Jest and I was like, I should so read this book. But I think that's like a summer read because I can't imagine like carrying Infinite Jest like to school. You know what I mean? So I bought two books. One is more of like, it just seems like to me, it seems like a slice of life kind of book, if that makes sense. I don't really know what it's about, but it's called The Moon and Sixpence by W. Somerset Mahim what it looks like um I like those kinds of books I like when it's just like a speaker and you get into their head and it's just like them living their life so I don't know this just seemed like a fun easy read and it's like lighter this one is a half year read it's called The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene from what I understand it's about string theory which I do not understand but I want to, and I've been obsessed with the Collatz conjecture, which is this math. I found this in the math section, but I feel like it shouldn't be, but whatever. Um, but the Collatz conjecture is this math theory, I guess, or conjecture proposed by this guy, Lothar Collatz. And the idea is you take any positive integer, and if it's odd, you multiply by three and add one. If it's even, you divide by two, and you keep going, you're always going to get back down to one. And it sounds incredibly false, but it it works and it's crazy. But it's one of those like infamously unsolvable things because like how are you gonna test every number? It's hard to prove the negative, you know what I mean? And I'm realizing recently that I was talking to my English teacher last year and he was like, I was telling him about this. And I was also telling him about how like the subject math in school, I find like literally evil and sinister. And he was telling me that like, it's something like Fitzgerald or something, like some author had this quote where it's like, if you can hold two opposing ideas about the same subject in your mind, like you're so smart. And he was like, yeah, that's you. Just cause like, you know, like teacher things. And I was like, haha, very funny. And it actually got me thinking that like all these things that I'm like, ah, fucks like, I don't need to learn fucking calculus. Like, what am I going to do? I don't need to learn string theory, but I don't, I don't know. It just seems interesting. And I've been on this weird, like, the short of it is I was lying on this rock um, with one of my best friends. And he and I were, like, laying up, looking at, like, the clearest sky and just these trees. And it's, it's I live in, like, woods area. So it's just these trees with, like, no leaves. It's, like, December. And 
I had just watched everything everywhere all at once. And I was looking at these trees and all I could hear was like the rustling of like the branches as the trees, like the wind went by and um, like the breathing of me and of my friend. And like, I don't know what connected it, like what wires were crossed, but like suddenly I was like literally staring there, like losing my shit, like freaking the fuck out. Like, holy shit, like we are trees and like every decision we make is just a different branch or a different like fucking stick and like everything we do and like the universe is so vast and ever expanding and as humans like i'm not built for iphone i'm built to sit here with the people i love um looking at trees and like on a rock and then i was like oh my god we're always on a rock it was crazy but i don't know i've been into the universe recently in a very pretentious way so i'm gonna read the elegant universe instead of my book i should read for school um, the other thing I have in my bag is nothing, so. This is my bag, by the way. I guess if anyone wanted to know that. It says, any given Sunday, I got it, like, four years ago when I visited my grandparents a while, like, um, it broke, and then I reattached the strappy thing up here so that it can, like, fold over, and I really like it. It's gross and old, but I enjoy it. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I usually bring, but I don't think there is. I have this scarf on right now, which I guess I am bringing around recently because it's getting cold out and I made it. Um, it's the first thing I've ever knitted in full. It's like a crazy big scarf, like thick. There's no reason like it needs to be this like wide, but I'm fucking dumb as rocks. So I made it too thick, but it's very warm and it's kind of short too. So it's just like thick and warm, but I really like it. And I went to my first concert yesterday, which was epic. I got to do that thing where you're like, my name's on the list. Because I talked to the singer and she was awesome. I think that's it that's going on in my life. <laughs> I started wearing a watch because my dad loves watches. And I, my dream is to reach a point in life where I can, like, go out without my phone and just, like, I can know the time and I can whatever. And I can hear it tick. It's a quartz watch. So you can hear it, like, ch -ch 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 when you focus really hard. And sometimes it drives me crazy, but sometimes it makes me feel so safe. I don't know why. But, Yeah. I think that's all I have to say.